you know what you were hoping for and expecting or yeah i mean it's early days for me um getting ready for new york in november so it's kind of just uh see where we're at and see how far we have to go yeah. um conditions are tough so that was always puts a little damper on things but it's, it's a good starting point what was the main reason you wanted to come back here and run this competitively after being a special guest last year yeah i mean all of it it's it's beautiful and the fields are fantastic and it's fun to be here um we came out wednesday drove our dog out we've been hanging out at the beach and then just tack this on at the end. So it's a great experience. And um, after last year, I was like, I have to go back. So. Were you surprised with how fast the pace was, you know, right <laughs> out of the start line? Yeah, I'm, I was a little bit of shock for my body because I've just been doing fartlek type stuff and nothing too long. So uh, seeing a 517 and being off the back, I was like, this is going to be a long day. Um, but they they managed it well. And uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to watch those guys run away after that. So I know New York's the next marathon that you're going yeah. for. Like, what would it take from that race for you to tell yourself you want to run the trials? What will go into that decision to whether or not to run the trials? Uh, it's going to be how I bounce back. You know, if the body feels like it can do another marathon, um, I'll do the trials. And that's definitely in the cards. But I hate um, thinking about the next thing while I'm in the middle of training for something. Yeah. And so all eyes are on New York, and that's the focus. Uh, but I think the turnaround's doable, and if I come back healthy and hungry to go, um, you know, I'll definitely do the trials. So. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.